Hi guys! In this video, we will discuss accounting for bad debts. Pero problems na lang, meaning if you want to watch the concepts with regards to accounting for bad debts, please go to my other video in this channel. Let's so now move on to problem number one. Problem number one. On January 1, 2020, accounting lectures corporation showed the following account balances. On January 1, meron tayong accounts receivable na 1 million, then allowance for doubtful accounts of 40,000. See to it na January 1 balances yung mga yan. Therefore, these are the beginning balances. Next, the following summary transactions occurred during the current year. So what are the requirements here? Requirement 1 is to prepare the journal entries pertaining to accounts receivable. So start tayo sa transaction letter A. Transaction letter A, sales on account. So nagbenta daw tayo ng account. That is equal to 7 million pesos. So the journal entry here is to debit AR. Credit sales equal to 7 million pesos. Next, letter B. Collections from customers within the discount period. So here, the journal entries to debit cash equal to 2,450,000 credit. Accounts receivable kasi nakakolekta tayo but not equal to 2,450. Why? Because if nakakolekta tayo within the discount period, the customers are entitled to a 2% discount. Meaning, 2,450 now is actually the net amount. So, dapat gross amount ang credit mo sa AR. So, 2,450 now represents 98% because kapag tinanggal mo yung 2% sa 100, 98 na lang yun. So, 2,450 divided by 0.98, AR now will be credited to 2.5 million. So, kung 2.5 million yung gross amount, na nakolekta lang natin is 2,450, we will be debiting sales discounts now equal to 50,000. Letter C. Collections from customers beyond the discount period. So kapag beyond the discount period, wala na tayong problema. Debit cash, credit AR lang to, equal to 3.9 million. Next letter, Delta. Accounts receivable written off as worthless is equal to 30,000. So debit, allowance for doubtful accounts, then credit accounts receivable equal to 30,000. Next, information letter, Evana. So here, recovery of accounts previously written off, not included in the above collections, is 10,000. So debit AR muna tayo, credit AFDA, because sabi ko nga kanina, kailangan mo munang i-reverse yung entry sa write-off, equal to 10,000 pesos, and then, apparently, kailangan mong i-record yung collection. So, debit cash, credit AR equal to the same amount. That is why wala siyang effect sa total AR. Kasi dinagdagan mo yung AR and at the same time, binawasan mo rin siya. Information letter Foxtrot. Credit memo for sales returns is 70,000. So, debit sales returns and allowances and then credit Accounts receivable equal to 70,000. So these are the journal entries for the year 2020. So compute natin ngayon si accounts receivable at the end. Paano nga ulit i-compute si AR at the end of the year? AR at the end of the year is equal to the AR at the beginning, which is according to the problem equal to 1 million pesos plus the credit sales, which is equal to 7 million pesos minus the collections, which is magkano yung total collections natin? 2,450 plus 3,9 or that's equal to 6,350 minus the sales discount of 50,000 minus the sales returns and allowance, which is equal to 70,000. And last, minus the written off accounts or the write off of AR, which is equal to 30,000 pesos. So accounts receivable now at the end of the year will be equal to how much? 
this is equal to 1 million pesos plus 7 million pesos minus 6350 minus 50,000 minus 70,000 and minus 30,000 or this is equal to 1.5 million pesos. What are the other requirements here? The second requirement, what is the correct amount of doubtful accounts expense, allowance for doubtful accounts, and net realizable value under each of the following methods? Punta muna tayo sa method letter A or method number one. What's the first method? First method is percentage of sales method and then the estimate is 1% of net sales. Ano usapan natin? Under the percentage of sales method, ang nakocompute natin dito is actually the doubtful accounts expense. So magkano yung doubtful accounts expense natin? Doubtful accounts expense is equal to 1% daw of net sales. So magkano ba net sales natin? Gross sales is equal to 7 million. Next, meron tayong sales discount, so minus 50,000. Meron tayong sales return na 70, so minus 70,000. So the net sales now is 6,880,000. So the doubtful accounts expense now is equal to 6880 times 1%, or that's equal to 68,800. Next, compute natin si allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year. Paano nga ulit yung compute? That is equal to the allowance for doubtful accounts at the beginning, which is, according to the problem, equal to 40,000 plus the doubtful accounts expense, which is equal to 68,800 minus the written off accounts, which is equal to 30,000 and then plus recovery, which is equal to 10,000 pesos. So allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year now is equal to, how much is that, guys? That is equal to 40,000 plus 68,800 minus 30,000 and then plus 10,000, or that's equal to 88,800. And then lastly, yung net realizable value. So, paano nga ulit yung compute That's AR at the end minus the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year. So, AR at the end, that's 1.5 million. Allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year, that's 88,800. So, 1 5th minus 88,800. Ang makocompute natin na NRV dito is equal to 1411. 200. So the amortized cost or the net realizable value of the accounts receivable is now equal to 1411, 200. So that is the percentage of sales method. Punta tayo sa second method. The second method is the percentage of accounts receivable. And the company is using this method consistently. Ibig sabihin, last year pa nila gamit ang method na to. So compute muna natin yung percentage. The percentage here is equal to 40,000 divided by 1 million or this, uh, this is actually equal to 4%. Ano na nga ang nakocompute natin sa percentage of AR method? Ang nakocompute natin dito is the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year. So 1.5 million, that's the accounts receivable at the end of the year, times 4%. The allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year now is equal to 60,000 pesos. Again, this is equal to 60,000 pesos. Next, let's compute the doubtful accounts expense. So formula once again is AFDA at the beginning, which is 40,000 plus the doubtful accounts expense, which will be squeezed later on minus the write-off, which is equal to 30,000, then plus the recovery, which is equal to 10,000. Then according to our computation a while ago, allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year is equal to 60,000. So let's now squeeze the doubtful accounts expense. So 60,000 
minus 10,000 plus 30,000 because kapag nag squeeze tayo patas, nagpapalit ng sign. Then minus 40,000 or this is equal to 40,000 pesos. So doubtful accounts expense is equal to 40,000 pesos. Then last, let's compute the amortized cost or the net realizable value. Again, that's AR at the end of the year, which is equal to 1.5 million minus the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year, which as computed is equal to 60,000. So 1.5 minus 60, AC now or NRV is equal to 1,440,000. So that is problem number one. Next, let's illustrate aging of accounts receivable here in problem number two. So here in problem number two, on January 1, 2020, the company reported that the allowance for doubtful accounts has a credit balance of 170,000. So allowance for doubtful accounts at the beginning is equal to 170,000. Bad debt recoveries and bad debt written off in the current year were 30,000 and 235,000 respectively. The allowance account had been calculated as a percentage of sales, but it was decided, however, to provide for doubtful accounts commencing with the December 31, 2020 adjusting entry on the basis of an analysis of the age of the receivables. So the following schedule was prepared. So meron tayong mga amount, meron tayong mga age, and then meron tayong percentage and collectible. Ang ibig sabihin ng nil is zero. So compute ko natin yan at turuan kita ulit ng shortcut. So calculator, paano yan? Before tayo mag-compute, kailangan pindutin mo muna yung AC, MC, at yung MRC. So try natin. Yung 1.7, hindi mo na kailangan i-exama yan kasi 0% yung percentage and collectible. Pagdating naman sa 1.2 million, mumultiply natin yun sa 5%, but rather than equals, ang gusto kong pindutin mo is M+. plus. Next, 100,000 times 0.25 M+. plus. 150,000 times 0.5 M+. Plus. And then, 120,000 times 100% or 1. M plus. And after that, pindutin mo yung MR or MRC, lalabas yung total which is equal to 280,000. Ano nga ulit ang nakocompute natin dito sa aging of accounts receivable? Ang nakocompute natin dito is the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year. So after at the end of the year is now equal to 280,000. So requirement Number one, what is the required allowance for doubtful accounts on December 31, 2020? Our final answer is 280,000. Requirement number two, how much would be the doubtful accounts expense for the current year? Paano nga ulit compute yun? After at the beginning muna tayo. That is equal to 170,000 plus the doubtful accounts expense which is squeezed once again later on minus the written off accounts, which is equal to 235,000 plus 30,000 because sabi sa baba, additional accounts to be written off is 30,000. So total write-off is 265,000. And then plus recoveries, which is equal to 30,000. And then allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year now, as computed is equal to 280,000. Therefore, the doubtful accounts expense and the requirement in number two will have a final answer of how much? 280,000 minus 30,000 plus 265,000 minus 170,000 or this is equal to 345,000. So requirement number two, 345,000 is our final answer. Then requirement three, what is the net realizable value of accounts receivable? So here, paano nga ulit compute? That's the AR at the end minus the allowance for doubtful accounts at the end of the year. 
So this is the NRV or the amortized cost of accounts receivable. Compute muna natin yung AR. Add mo lang lahat yan. So 1.7 plus 1.2 plus 100,000 plus 150,000 plus 120,000. Then wag mo nang i-add si 30 kasi na right off na yon. So here, meron tayong AR at the end, which is 3,270,000. Allowance for the outflow accounts at the end is equal to 280,000. Therefore, amortized cost or NRV now is equal to 3,270 minus 280 or this is equal to 2,990,000. So 2,990 is our final answer for the third requirement. So that's the end of accounting for bad debt. See you again, guys, in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye.